morning everybody. Woo, it's chilly out here today in Texas. 52 degrees. I'm sure that's warm for you guys up in the north. But uh gonna go do some crappie fishing today, fellas. We're gonna go uh creek looking. It's about that time of year where them fish are gonna start migrating into the creeks, and I heard some rumors, and I'm gonna go check it out. Before I do that, I wanted to show you guys a few things that I've gotten in recently. A um, couple of companies I've worked with, been working with, and got products that I wanna show you that I think benefit us all. I'm not gonna get in depth on this stuff, I'm just gonna show it to you, and then if you want more info, you can just reach out to me. So, uh, first thing is the Chaos XS40s. That is the PC Fun bait casting reel. There's the specs right there. You can screenshot that if you want and you can read all about them. But I do a lot of catfishing and these are awesome for that. So, boom, there you go. PC Fun bait casting reels, spider drag, spool tensioner, decent braking system, clicker. The 40 comes with the standard handle. The 50 and 60 come with a power handle. But it's a pretty nice looking reel. 5, 3 to 1 gear ratio. You see that there. It's got 6 plus 1 ball bearings. It's got 1 roller bearing and 6 ball bearings. I've been using these a little bit and I don't feel like there's anything you could catch here in Texas or at least up, up here where I live or inshore that this reel won't handle. So the 40s are great. You could do a power handle conversion and put a power handle on it and then I'd probably say maximum of 65 pound braid on this reel. And I'd use it. And there it is, they get me two of them. So, try to get me some cat rods, pair up with these and, and that's where I'll go there. Next thing I got from them is a set of the hook remover pliers. Right there, turn that box over. So they gave me two sets not really sure why, but I'm glad they did because I've got places for them. Let me open this up. So, these things come with a little canvas pouch. They come with a leash line and a carabiner clip. So you can clip them, which is nice so you don't lose them. This pair right here is anodized blue and silver. These things are thin and lightweight. Uh, they got the little hook remover tab on the end of the one got a crimping tool there and they have line cutters built on so these are SXPs and these are AXPs I'm not sure what the difference is and I'm sure that's why they sent me two different pairs I'll have to do a little research on that and get back with you on what the difference is so let me open them up and see if I can tell real quick okay so these also come with a little canvas pouch. These are all black, leash line, carabiner clip. The difference in these two looks like this one is an all metal body. This one has rubber grips. This one weighs twice as much as this one. This one has the line cutter right in the center of the pliers, right down the middle, right there. This one has it on the side like the bubble blade. This has a longer shank, more like for reaching deeper in there, it looks like. And uh, all the little crimping tools and stuff are at the bottom. Now, I don't know what these are for, these grooves on the outside. So if you guys know what that's for, let me know in the comments. Because I, I don't see, they're not cutters. They're just some kind of a line guide. There's also holes on this side. And there's no real visible intention for those holes. I don't really know what they're for. I probably need to talk to my PC Fun rep and ask him what those are about. But either way, these are really light. They're very thin. If you look at that, they're thin. My Bubba blades are three times the size of these, which makes them bulky and cumbersome. So, yeah, definitely these are going to go in my tool pouch. I think I'm going to put these black ones on my backpack for spring creek fishing. And then these I'll keep on the boat. Next thing I got here from PC Fun is, uh, is I believe these are gloves. And I really need these. I'm glad they sent these to me because I wear these all winter and spring. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Boom. And that's the packaging. And these are the gloves right here, guys. So if you look, you got the PC Fun logo on the back. So you got leather reinforcement in the crease between your thumb and your index finger which is nice for that's where your rod's gonna sit and then if you notice they've got 
strategically place leather patches on your line fingers and on your palm and the inside of your thumb. So that's going to be good. I like that they don't have any kind of a latch or velcro or anything on the wrist and they're fingerless. And these are good to wear in the summer too because they're really thin. They have a UPF or SPF of 50. So yeah, there you go guys. It's kind of chilly this morning. I might even leave these on right now. How about that? Just some stuff, like I said, I just want to show you guys some things you can pick up. And the cool thing about PC Fun is the quality of products versus the price unmatched. And that's the biggest thing with them. Now, you can't walk in a store and buy this stuff. You have to order it, but it, it's worth it ordering it. All right, guys, here's my uh, one I really wanted to show you guys. These are Stinky Pants Stringers, all right? So, I fish the coast a lot, and those guys use a lot of wading stringers on the kayak and for wade fishing. Well, up here in the freshwater, when crappie fishing out of the kayaks or fishing the creeks, we could benefit from some of that wade fishing uh, type stringers and gear, but they're 20 feet long over there. They use those 20 foot longers. Sometimes they use 12s. The length of the stringer protects the angler from would-be predator fish like sharks. So if you got a bunch of fish in distress on a stringer and you've got them right here on your waist, you could inadvertently get bit um, by a crocodile or a, a shark wading in the salt water because they're just after those distressed fish and you've got them too close to you. You're running a 20 foot stringer, you got your fish out there a ways, and you know, if you see a shark come in, best case, you don't get bit. Worst case, you can detach your stringer and let them have it. So the biggest thing with the, the saltwater stringer, especially those, salt, those 20 footers, is this little float you see right here. This little float tends to be about the size of a softball on those stringers, and the diameter of the stringer wire tends to be really large. I don't know what the diameter is, but I know it's pretty large. But when we're down here fishing in the freshwater, or if you're inshore fishing, catching slot fish, you don't necessarily need the length off of a kayak, you don't need the diameter of float the size of a grapefruit or a softball. You just need some buoyancy to keep your fish from stacking up and killing themselves really fast. So I saw the Stinky Pants Stringers, they have this this uh, float here is about the size of a, a little oversized of a golf ball. The stringer diameter is much smaller, but it's still hollow and it's still rigid. And uh, it's got a nice spike on it for penetrating the fish. And this one's eight feet long. So it's not gonna get, you know, it's not gonna drop with all your fish on it and get under the kayak and tangle up on your propeller. It's not gonna you know, get all strung out and tie up in branches when you're creek fishing around here in the, in the you know, creeks. So I really thought this was a good idea for us in the freshwater for crappie and white bass fishing. So the brand is Stinky Pants, and he sent me two of them. I got a white one and a blue one, and the reason I got two is uh, I asked him for a, a, a dual species for white bass and crappie, so when I'm dual species fishing out there, I have one for each and I don't have to mix fish on the stringer. And uh, also these suckers come with a stringer clip. So you can clip this stringer onto your waist or your bag or whatever you need. And you don't have to try to tie it off because it's not string, it's like a hard plastic material or a, a poly material. So it's not gonna tie well. So they make these stringer clips that go with them so you can clip them off. That's awesome too. Get you some of these stinky pants right there. Again, you can't buy these in stores. You're gonna to have to order them directly from Stinky Pants. They might be on Amazon, but I'd probably just go directly to Stinky Pants. And I think, oh, one other thing. So this is a company that did reach out to me. I did not reach out to them. And I'd like to explain this to you really quick. I'm not an advocate of scent. I don't use crappie nevels. I don't use scent. I don't have trouble catching fish without it so I don't waste my time buying it. I don't want stinky crap all over my boat or kayak or my hands, and so I don't buy scent. That being said, I know a lot of guys that use it. I know a lot of guys, I trust their opinions that use it. And when you trust somebody in their opinion, 
and they use scent, they use crappie nibbles, they use whatever. It doesn't make you right, doesn't make them right, or either one of you wrong. It just means everybody's got a different way of doing things. Well, I don't like scent, I don't wanna mess with it, it's just an additional expense, but being said, I know guys that swear by it. So I'm not close-minded to trying to use it. I had this company reach out to me, Sweet Bite, right there, and they have these scents. They swear by them, really wanted me to use them, and well, <laughs> the flavors that they have are like buttered pecan. This is salted pretzel. And I was like, honestly guys, it, it sounds like you're serving Thanksgiving dinner, not trying to attract fish. It, they, they don't have like shad or garlic. They have like all these, these flavored, like this one's salted pretzel. And I was, I just, for me, I felt like, yeah, no. But he swears to give it a try he said, if you hate it, throw it in the trash. If you like it, let us know. We'll send you more. I send it to me, we'll give it a try. So I'm gonna carry this. If those fish get finicky, we're gonna use a little bit of it here and there, and we'll see if it works. And then we might bring in some of the other flavors that they make and uh, see if any of these work. Because during the winter, those fish get a little more finicky, and that'd give us a good opportunity to really try something like this. That's when a lot of my friends use the crappie nibbles and stuff is during the winter. So, all right guys, that's what I got. Let's get all this crap packed up and get down to the creek. Put this boat in the water and see if we can find some fish. October 5th today. See if early October produces fish in the creeks. Cause I'm ready for some creek fishing. Let's go. We're leaving the boat ramp, fellas. Heading out. Go see if we can find some fish in this creek. Let's get up in here and see what happens. Let's go. Guys, I just stopped randomly at a twig sticking out of the middle of the water and bam, first drop, just hammered it. I was not expecting that. I am way, 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 way up the creek. I was gonna come way up here and just look around and then go back down and fish the mouth areas and stuff. And I'll be dang, I found a fallen tree only the root ball sticking out of the water and dropped on it real quick just to check it out and bam fish first drop and I don't even I'm shocked right now I'm in shock guys honestly I'm literally in shock that is not what I expected that is not what I expected. I'm, I'm very pleased. I just, it's not what I expected. All right, I gotta let the spot lock, lock up. So, let me show you guys what I'm seeing here. Look on my screen. This is a root ball. That, that's a tree right here, and this is the root ball, and they're on the back side of it right there. And, uh, I'm just dropping down into that back of that root ball and uh, got one. Oh, he came off. Yeah, they're tied in there though. They're uh, they're not hanging around the outside of it. They're in there pretty good. Got one. Got one. Oh, he's a dog. Nice. Holy moly. She whiz, guys. Creek fish. Love me some creek fish. Nice little old dog. Goodness gracious. You gotta be kidding me, man. I didn't even think I was gonna find any, much less. Two drops, two fish. I gotta fix my weight, my split shot move. And I'm fishing with a bait I have no confidence in. This is a brush pile bait. And here I am using it in the Dadgum Creek. Now, Anthony likes this bait. This is an Anthony bait right here. Whoo! 
That is just insane. Insane, guys, I, if you knew where I was, you'd be shocked. I'm almost inclined to think these, I, I don't even know if they're resident fish or not. All right. All right, guys, I'm using a ACC crappie stick rear seat 10 foot, a PC Fun Viper 2 reel with 10 pound braid, and we're just trying to tempt us some crappie out of this pile. This pile's a mess, too. You can easily get hung. Oh, there's one after it. I'm hung. I don't want to be hung. I want out of there. Let me out of there. Oh, there I go. Got out. It's real hard to tell what's going on down there because it's such a cluster and I'm in. Oh, no. Look at that. Broke the hook clean off the jig. After a few more keepers, I decided I'm not here to catch a bunch of fish. I'm here to scout. And scouting means moving, not sitting on a pile. So I'm looking. I've got a couple strategic places I want to hit. One of them's down the creek. I got me a hammer, hammer crappie. Oh, hammer dog. Thank goodness I've got a uh, ACC crappie stick. Oh my gosh, guys, look at that hammer. Oh my god. Look at that. Oh, uh, big old fat sucker. I thought it was a white bass. He was pulling so hard. Oh, oh my goodness gracious, guys. What in the heck? Mm -mm -mm. Hammer. Let's see if there's some more hammers down there. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my, my, my. I went from structure to structure, up and down the creek, checking the channel, checking the drops, just looking it over and seeing what was here. I'm gonna head out to Main Lake and check some piles just to see what the fish look like out there. Well, I thought I'd come check some Main Lake piles real quick, just cause I'm already here. And I wanna see what the concentrations are on these, on these Main Lake piles in relationship to the creek piles so thought I'd give her a shot there we go got him that feels like a hammer dog it's a nice dog no more keepers got him got a dog <laughs> I knew I'd get a dog out of there for long quit flopping crazy dog all right woohoo I like them dogs. I can do dogs all day long. We can do dogs all day long. Can't guess. Look at, woohoo! Weren't hitting just any OG. Oh yeah. Heck yeah. Yeah. That's a nice one. That's a nice fish right there, guys. Oh man. Nice fish right there. Once I got out here, I didn't have long, but we're just scouting for fish and seeing where they're going and what they're doing, keeping an eye on them. You guys get the point. And thank you guys for watching, and y'all have a good evening.